All right, great. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw windows. So when you do your city, you're going to have a certain number of buildings you have to do in your city, and each building in your city is going to have to have windows on one side. So we're going to do the simplest kind of windows on the handout, which are these right here, this top building on the left. So we're going to do windows that look like that. So we'll just do them on one side because you just have to have one side. So we'll do this side since it's the biggest. So what you want to do, and you don't have to measure and be exact on this. You can do what's called just kind of eyeballing it. You want to go along this line and you want to put some little dots or little marks like along this line right here. Those are going to be our starter points for windows. So right on there. I put those little dots along there. So then what you do next is you take your dot for your starting of your windows and you line the ruler to the vanishing point so it touches the vanishing point and your dot and then you're going to draw along the ruler and when you hit the bottom of the building you can just stop. You don't, even though the ruler keeps going you can stop drawing and the reason is, is because you're not going to have your windows going into or punching through the ground. Okay, so just to show that again you put your ruler on the next dot and it's got to touch the vanishing point so you put your pencil down you draw to the bottom of the building and then you stop drawing when you hit the bottom of the building. And notice how my hand is spread out so it doesn't move. Okay, we do the same thing. So if I put my hand here and I start to draw, the ruler is almost always going to end up going like that and I'm going to miss my vanishing point. And that's like the bullseye for my target. That's what you always try to hit. Try to hit the bullseye on the target. So I spread my hand out and I go from the window dot to the vanishing point and then I draw my line. So for each one of these the ruler goes at a little bit different angle. So I go from the window dot to the vanishing point okay and then I just draw and I stop there. So that is an example of windows. There are other kinds of windows as you can see. Ones that just kind of go back across flat horizontal lines but those are the easiest windows to do. Okay, And if you see those little squiggles on there that just shows that there's like reflections. So if you just want to take your pencil and just draw some really random little squiggles, those don't go to the vanishing point. You're not using a ruler. That just shows that shiny reflective like glass or like a mirrored surface, which is which is glass, mirrors are glass. All right, so you're gonna have to have windows on each side. Each building's gonna need a different roof detail. Okay, you're gonna need a different roof detail on the top of every building. If you look on the handout, there are a lot of different roof details that are already here. Okay, there is the top of an elevator shaft here, um, a swimming pool, um, these little blob shapes here are like small trees or big plants that are in pots. There's a diving board and like tables and chairs and little loungers that are by the pool. Um, let's see, there's a helicopter pad, um, like big uh, air conditioner blowers, tops of pipes. Here's a little greenhouse. This is a billboard. These are different uh, pipes and, and air conditioning or heating units that are along on these. Uh, they have walls around the outside edge of the building. So each one of these probably has at least three, three or more details. You only have to have one detail on the top of each building. So you can use one of those or you can just make one up. But let's go ahead and put a detail on the top of the building. So I'm just going to go ahead and make one that's not there. Okay, so I'm just going to use green because what I'm going to draw is like a putting green. Kind of like a little, like for putt putt, uh, like mini putt, like a little green. So I'm just going to leave like a couple little golf holes on here on the green for putting. It's going to leave those kind of empty. So I made mine like a little green. So if somebody can come up here and do some practice their putting, either for real golf or where you're going out on the golf course or just go out and practice uh, like putt, putt, mini putt type stuff up there. So I went ahead and did that. So if you want to go ahead and come up with a detail to put up there. Uh, roof details tend to be a little bit bigger because they're closer to you. Because um, we're just going to get here in just a minute to do ground details which should be smaller because they're further away. Because they're receding and they're going away from you. So there's a rooftop detail. Okay, so we have 
a building, we've got windows, we've got rooftop detail. Next thing is your city is going to have to have some roads. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, take a pencil, and roads have a purpose. They're really small. If it looks like it kind of disappears, like right here, it's not just stopping. It's just going around behind the building, or here it goes behind the building, comes back out. You know, they just don't all of a sudden just stop. So, and they don't have to be freehand, or they can be freehand drawn. You don't have to use a ruler for for your roads. So it can just kind of go around the building a little bit like this, and maybe there's where it kind of turns. So you can just go ahead and start drawing like part of a road. Make sure you don't get it too wide. I mean, it can go off to something like this, and maybe it goes over here like to a parking lot. So maybe this is going to go to a parking lot. Maybe these are going to go around other buildings I haven't drawn yet. Not all roads have to have the dashes. So maybe this road is going to be like a dash part, and this road is not going to have dashes. Dashes just separate lanes in the road. So that's just an example, like part of a road, like that, going around. Okay, and mine would just kind of keep going because you're going to have to have a certain number of roads, and and uh, for basic requirements, you're going to have to have. But just get them really small, and you can just freehand draw it like what I did. You're also going to need to have ground details. So there's going to be a certain number of those you're going to need. Some examples on here. First of all, these big blobs are the tops of really large, old, like mature trees. Smaller ones are smaller shrubs or smaller trees. Um, there's also like a, uh, a bus stop right here. There are sidewalk, these little lines between the road and the building. Those are little cuts in sidewalk. So there's a little sidewalk um, separators, like little cuts in sidewalk. Here's a crosswalk, a little crossing light right here, picnic table, top of a garbage can. So there's lots of different ground details you can have. You're gonna, there's going to be a certain number you're going to have to have in your city as well. So if you just draw like kind of a big blob shape and they've got some hatching lines on one side, if you remember what those are, those are like little, kind of like little tick marks. That just shows like some shading. Uh, you, you can add ones that are there. I'm gonna add one that's not there. So I'm gonna have like, maybe this is a little park here in the middle. So I've got like a little pond put some little ripples like on the pond so maybe this is a top view of a pond so that's really big because it's a pond that's really big because it's a it's a tree but things on the ground tend to be small unless they're really large things like top of a large tree large pond but maybe there's just like a little little shrub like along here that's not very big but things overall on the ground are smaller I can see how small the road is so you go ahead and give your city like at least one one road, or at least one ground detail. There's going to be more than that when you do your city. All right, so that is next, is all these details. Windows, rooftop detail, roads. Um, there's, you know, ground details on there. So next, we're going to go ahead and work on how we do a building that's going to be behind, that's going to be overlaps. That's going to